Hi, I'm Angela from Take A Break Caravan Hire at Watson's Leisure Centre Coffs Harbour. Here are some handy driving tips for our international travellers. Firstly, you must have a current driver's licence. You must have a licence on you at all times and international licences are accepted in all states. Secondly, plan your trip. Australia is a large country. We recommend that you research your travelling route thoroughly, particularly your travel distances. It's far better to travel at a leisurely pace, exploring many attractions, rather than spend each day travelling long distances. Aim for 150 to 250 kilometres per day and you'll experience Australia in comfort. In Australia, we drive on the left-hand side of the road. A good tip is if you're driving, you should be the one closest to the centre line, not your passenger. All passengers must wear seatbelts. When the vehicle is in motion, all passengers have to wear a seatbelt. As much as some passengers are tired and want to take a nap in the bed, it can be dangerous and is illegal. Children are to be properly restrained. All our motorhomes are fitted with anchor restraint points. For more information regarding the laws on children's restraints, log on to roadsafety.transport.nsw.gov.au. This link is in the description below. While driving on Australian roads, look out for wildlife. One of the great things about Australia is our wildlife. Our wildlife is usually most active at dawn and dusk. It is not uncommon to see animals such as kangaroos, cattle and wombats on our major highways. We recommend you do not drive your motor home at night and take care at dusk and dawn. Check the distance. All international tourists say it. We are a country of signs. It's because we love our tourists and we don't want you to get lost. Every 5 to 10 kilometres there will be signs to tell you how far the next town is. There are also signs to encourage you to take a break. Finally, watch your speed. Other important signs to watch out for are speed signs. On major freeways, this is usually 100 kilometres per hour, but increase to 110 kilometres. Some stretches are 60 to 80 kilometres if you're going through towns. If you are unsure, just stick to the speed of other traffic. That's it for our driving tips. For more information, you can contact us at takeabreakcaravanhire.com.au or visit us at Watson's Leisure Centre, Coffs Harbour.